If you enjoy the video, please consider subscribing to the channel. Also, I would like to give a shout out to Richter Overtime for this video's idea. He also provided a lot of information which was used in the script of this video. His channel will be linked in the description. When we load up into a multiplayer match in games like Counter-Strike or Call of Duty, our main goal in the game is, well, to play the game, have fun, do the objectives and whatnot. But I've noticed amidst the chaos, there's sometimes a story to the map the players are in. As an example today, we'll be looking at the hidden backstory of DM Equilibria. Equilibria is a map made by Zetis and it is almost 15 years old. The map consists of a shanty town in the middle of the ocean. It's called Equilibre or Balance in English. It has buildings and structures that most likely the rebels built for shelter, hiding away from the combine. Starting from this position, this is a docks area which the rebels would have used most likely to go to the coast on their boats. Then there's a building to serve as the prison or jail area for any combine soldier that got captured or for any dissident rebel. You can see power lines cut off from the generator, meaning the rebels were able to have electricity in these buildings they built. You go atop this stairway and notice how some of the buildings were under construction while some of them were bombed. This would lead us to believe that the Combine in fact had found out about this rebel base. What got me is the set of chairs left empty in this room. This used to be a place where the rebels would just hang out and just enjoy each other's company even in this dire situation. But then there's the blood splatter on the floor, a cruel foreboding sight completely opposite of the joyous gatherings this room once might have accommodated. There are more chairs, tables, benches which would allude to the rebels holding religious sermons and bed frames, all of it sitting in ruin. Places that were once called home by their inhabitants are now left abandoned. In one of the rooms, there is a combine control panel, which the rebels would have most likely reprogrammed to use for their own good. But then again, it might have served as the reason as to how the combine found them in the first place. The head crab canister here signifies that the combine first launched a canister bombing on the rebels and then a full on attack. Similar to the topic I talked about in the Gmod Maps video, this map has the same sense of loneliness in it. However, in this case, we might have a backstory to the whole place, even if the original author intended it or not. In a mysterious place like this, we're bound to think about the things that went on in here. But at the end, all we can think is, did anyone survive? And if someone did, where are they? A lifeless place built in the middle of the ocean. Engulfed in fog, it will be forgotten.